Welcome to the Money GPS. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Inflation's out of control. I'm sure you're aware already, but I'm going to give you the details that you need to know. We're going to talk about real estate. We're going to look at what's happening with the layoffs, inflation, and so much more. Let's begin by taking a look here. Real estate firms Compass and Redfin announce layoffs as housing market slows. Coinbase lays off 18% of the workforce. Warner Brothers Discovery to cut nearly 1,000 ad sales jobs and it goes on and on and on. You've seen the reports, I'm sure, already. But what's happening here? Well, generally, the first round happens to be with the companies that you know had real excess. And they're going to say, you know what? We hired too many people. And that's what Coinbase said. We hired way too many people. Things are slowing down. We're going to cut them. Okay, And this is after much growth. And that certainly could be true for some companies. But other companies realize that down the line, things are getting difficult. Market route evokes memories of trading before Lehman, Lehman blow up. And so this is just showing us the treasury yields rising most since 2008. The bond market is a mess. And it's not just in the United States. I've talked about this, you know, in relation to Japan. Uh, you know, look at all of it, essentially. It is a big problem today. And that's because of maximum intervention so the talk here about you know what that was all about i think it's important just to understand the bond market is getting iffy to say the least this is one aspect of it 30-year mortgage rate surges to 6.28 percent my goodness and that is up from 5.5 percent just a week ago 6.28 percent this leads me to believe that in, you know, by the time the next Fed meeting is coming up, 7% mortgages. Did anybody think we would see 7% mortgages in 2022? And if they continue this way, could it go up to 8%, 9%, 10%? What is the number? What is the peak? And how long? Well, the way it's going, I mean, in a week, it increased nearly a percent. The expectation here being we are going to see at the July Fed meeting at least another 50 basis points. That would put the Fed funds rate at 2% to 2.25% in July of 2022. This would be significant to mortgages and to all types of debt. Including the national debt too. Don't forget about that. I've got more info for you, okay? I'm going to show you what you need to know. Look at this. Property values fall across the US and Europe on bite from inflation. We are seeing this all over the place. One aspect here is lumber. Now, lumber had gone from, you know, a historic normal to completely out of the ordinary 1700 so let's say it was at 450 500 it goes all the way up to 1700 comes back down to historical normal goes back up to i don't know maybe 1500 or so comes back down i mean it's been a wild ride to say the least and so that makes the cost of building a home cheaper good stuff right but other things have gone up along the way labor costs have gone up gasoline has gone up transport and so on so it's not just one dimensional but i try to bring you each and all the details the little nuances do certainly make a difference this is a strike that's going on in south korea strike uh, for trucker strike i should i should mention because these truckers are fed up it's not just in canada it's going on all over the place. Wasn't there supposed to be one in the U.S.? Did that ever really materialize? Strike poses risk to Korea economy as $1.2 billion is disrupted. Impact on the supply chains grows as trucker strike enters the seventh day. So we'll see. Already having an impact. You could see it. POSCO curbs output petrochemical industry sees major impact. So that remains to be seen and how far this will go. But Anytime you see this, when we have the supply chains dealing with problems, not a good sign. Okay, another blow to the U.S. food market. Fire breaks up at a food processing plant west of 
Waupaca County in Wisconsin. This article here is interesting, okay? Because, by the way, I mean, how many of these things have to happen before people start to question how odd this is? And, and let me let me be clear. This does happen. Food processing plants, manufacturing facilities, this will happen. Okay? Fires, it's unfortunate. It does happen. But it seems to be really unusual, the, the pace of this, the frequency. But you tell me, okay? You tell me. Put in the comments below. Is it is it questionable? Should we should we question it or nope? Nothing to see here. Move along. Here's a list, by the way. Uh, you could see that from looks like 2021 up to the present. Just look. Look at this list. 20, 25, 30, 50. How long is this thing here? By the way, more of them are happening in 2022. Oh, this is also showing. Turkey's being destroyed. I guess that's the bird bird flu or what have you. Anyway, there's there's a hundred in here that are essentially the point here is affecting you, the individual, with inflation. That's the big deal. That's the, the central theme. If there's a disruption, whether it's truckers, whether it's a food processing facility, or or anything else, gasoline prices are too high, that, that's going to have an impact on you. And the individual, the economy, this cannot grow. We cannot have growth in order to essentially, you know, maintain this facade of the economy so healthy during these periods. It is just not going to happen. Russia becomes India's second biggest oil exporter. That's big. You saw I was covering it here on this channel where India saw the cheap, you know, the discount and they were saying, Hey, I'll take your oil, and they've become a really good partner to Russia. What about Ford's CFO saying auto loan delinquencies are on the rise? This is important. It's a little bit of a canary in the coal mine telling us what's happening. Well, of course, you've got people that can't afford their payments. I think the, av the average was something ridiculous. It was between six and eight years to pay off a car. And why? Why is that? Because the cost of the car went up and uh, borrowing costs were cheap, okay, cheap. So they basically just said, we'll stretch that out over six years. We'll stretch it out over eight years and you could pay that same payment. So the car costs the same, but really it's much more expensive, okay? Then we have this, U.S. retail sales declined by 0.3%. So that's just showing us, along with what I covered, I believe, in the previous video, which is this, which is essentially saying GDP going to zero based on the Fed or the GDP now forecasting model. And that means a recession. This is just one factor, okay? China's May refinery output posts the steepest annual fall in over a decade. Not good. Right now, you could see that industrial output falling back to the level we saw in 2001. And this is just the oil demand falling down to a level. I mean, this goes back to 2010, essentially, up until the present. The only time we've seen it like this is back in early 2020 when everything was shut down in China. Okay, So this is something that we should be aware of. Global output, imports, exports, look at what's happening with the demand, look at freight, see what the inflation numbers are, look at the consumer sentiment, and I'm just breaking it all down for you and trying to piece that together in these videos. If you appreciate it, simply hit that thumbs up button. If you think that this is too complicated for you, or maybe you like it, but your brother or sister or your barber or you know your dog won't want to watch 15 minutes of video, but they will watch 30 seconds, go to the link, the first link in the description right at the top. That's my other channel that I just started where I'm doing these short clips that are fantastic to get one point across and great for shareable content. Okay, so check that out in the description again. Thumbs up if you support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.